Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, I'm Anna Bella and today I'm going to be doing a film review. I'm going to be reviewing The Golden Compass, otherwise known as The Northern Lights, which is the first story in Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials trilogy. They made The Golden Compass a movie and they had a brilliant cast for it, they really did. Nicole Kidman is here, Daniel Craig is here and Dakota Blue Richards who plays Lyra, is very good as well. Unfortunately, at the time that they made this, it didn't do very well in the US due to its themes, um, obviously. What I really liked most of all was actually the armour on the bears in this version. I thought the... Yeah, it was really well done. Unfortunately, because they kind of had to sell it as a children's film, you couldn't have, cough, cough, spoiler warning, spoiler warning, you couldn't have um, your main male lead child um, move on, shall we say, at the end of a children's film. Works great in a book series, but just not in this. So the ending was somewhat botched. They did film it. But unfortunately, they couldn't actually show it. So the film actually ended with Lyra um, heading towards where her father was doing his research. Um, very much like how the current His Dark Materials miniseries doesn't actually end on Roger's death either. It's sort of because they've interweaved um, some of the subtle knife, quite a lot of the subtle knife into the Golden Compass or the Northern Lights, as it's known in the UK. Um, the BBC series has managed to negate um, the impact of Roger's death somewhat, even though in reality the Golden Compass Northern Lights should end with it. It really should, because it ends on that cliffhanger and you're just like, oh my goodness, what? Yes, so this version, this is the two-disc extended version. I'm loving the artwork for it. The compass that they used in this was lovely. The artwork, it was very, very well done. It's just a shame. So it contains moderate fantasy violence and intense scenes, a PG. See, even the ratings couldn't save it from the simple fact that children have their souls removed by the guillotine or a version of it. So you've got disc one and disc two in this set. Disc one, you've got the feature commentary by the writer-director who really did his utmost best to be absolutely honest. He did his utmost um, with this. And you've got some excellent documentaries. You've got one on demons, the alethiometer, the compass, costumes, armoured bears, the novel, the adaptation, Finding Lyra, production design, Oxford music, the launch, teaser trailer, second trailer, final trailer, and companion guide, companion galleries to above features. It was really, really well done. I was just ashamed that they never could do the subtle knife or... Um, the Amber Spyglass, really. Um, in the UK, the first book is known as Northern Lights. This film is very good, actually. I enjoy watching it um, quite a bit. And it's quite a good comparison to the His Dark, His Dark Materials um, TV show. Though His Dark Materials, the whole TV show, is going to be able to do all three of the books. They've already started with Subtle Knife. Um, within Golden Compass because the problem is with the Northern Lights and the Golden Compass book as one book is it does read like a children's book for the majority of the um, story until the end until the reveal and then you're like oh we're going to go that way with puberty because how his dark materials the TV series have got around some of the issues that come up later is they've introduced the concept that um, Mrs Coulter and um, Lord Asriel are uh, Lyra's parents earlier than in the books because in the books you don't find that out until well into it's hinted at in the second but you sort of find it out majoritarily in the third so it really is far more of a mystery obviously for reasons due to child attachment and emotional well-being they have to do that earlier now but this um was a very good movie it was a shame that the other two didn't get made because i felt that they put a lot of effort into it but that's the thing you see the golden compass is looks like a children's story but its themes are not a children's story the other two the subtle knife and the amber spyglass don't give the impression of being child friendly at all 
the golden compass does and yeah it is a good story do check it out this version is it does have um some excellent features and it is good um feature running length is 108 minutes yeah it is good i enjoyed this version i really liked how they've done the bears and the armor um over his dark materials the bbc series um please like comment and sub sub subscribe if i could speak today that would be great please like comment and subscribe and thank you for the support bye